Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Right, so, I've been away for about a week or so. It's been my birthday and I've been doing a few other bits regarding my wedding and, uh, well, it's been very busy in life. But, for my birthday this year, I thought I'd treat myself to a new graphics card. So, after a lot of research online, looking at what brand to buy, looking at what card to get, I ended up getting myself a GTX 970 from MSI. One of the twin Froza uh, editions. And yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Unbox it for you now. Um, shouldn't take me too long. I can't wait to get it in my computer. I've already sold my 680, so uh, I'm literally waiting to get this in there now and get some of my new games downloaded. So, as you can see here, 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, PCI Express 3, it's the overclocked edition. Um, I'll put on the screen now what is it's overclocked to uh, by default, but I have heard it goes up to 1500 megahertz quite easily. Um, but as you can see, the twin and frozen design as well. Um, recommended by Fnatic, apparently. You can see that at the top there. Um, the uh, League of Legends team, I'm sure they do other games, but that's where I know I'm from. Uh, Talks fan, uh, Super SU Pipe, Zero Throws, I've also read that it um, doesn't actually turn the fan on until it gets to 60 degrees, and the heat pipes in are meant to be absolutely immense. And also you get the MSI app, which you can download anyway, um, from the website. But yeah, Windows 8 ready, read loads of reviews on it against the Palette, against the Asus one, uh, the Gigabyte one, and I decided to go with the Twin Frozer, just it got the best reviews overall. So, see what we've got in the box, Andrew. Try and get it open. Right. A little pull-out design. Just turn it around, and the nice MSI badge on the front there. I'm doing this on my bed, because my... Uh, Desk is a little bit cluttered at the moment because uh, I've literally just pulled my PC out to show you that my graphics card's ready to go in. So uh, literally cleaned it all out. So um, getting it ready for the new card to go in. So right, let's get that back over there anyway. Cool. So lift this back, and I'm going to presume inside here we've got a few little goodies. We've got the install disk. We've got a VGA to DVI convert. I don't know why you need that, but that's not too bad, and because of the overclocking headroom it has got, it has got a 6 to 8 pin um, connector for your graphics card, so the actual card inside, it's got one 6 pin and one 8 pin, uh, rather than two normal 6 pins, which was, I had on my 680, and also you got, back here, a little Dragon Army uh, gaming series pamphlet with Team Fnatic in there apparently, and a few other people from the team and people that are sponsored and some other bits and bobs there that are just generally about the uh, MSI products. Along with a user manual. Uh, I don't think I need that too too much. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Uh, and if we remove this bad boy, there it is. I've heard the American guys actually get a uh, free MSI mouse mat. Pretty nice addition, really, but shame I didn't get one myself. I probably would have chucked it on eBay anyway. I've got a Razer one, but um, let's have a look at the card. It's quite quite heavy. Move the box out of the way. What I will do is just put that back on there. So, yeah, there's the card itself inside its uh, ESD safe packaging. Always be ESD safe, people. Always keep yourself grounded. And there we have... The graphics card right there. I've got to remove this before gaming apparently. Um, so there you go. And it says there, look. I don't know if it's going to autofocus me or not, but it says fans not spinning. Don't worry. Fans stop spinning in low end situations. This keeps the card very quiet and increases lifetime of the graphics card. Sweet. Fans look really nice. Nice and big. Heat pipes look really big as well. Look at the size of those. On the side there, you can see the side of the actual size of the uh, heat sinks you've got in there. Nice and robust. There's no um, back plate, as noted in the reviews as well, but it doesn't make too much of a difference to me. Obviously, all the caps around the uh, important sockets to keep it fresh. The MSI logo on the side there, which um, actually lights up when you put it in the uh, machine, which is quite cool. Uh, on the back here, you've got the DVI-D, DVI port, HDMI and uh, the display port adapter on the back I'll take me a little while to remove these things, I'll leave them on there I'll get them off in a minute um, yeah, on the back there 
really nice PCB actually, nice and nice and big, extremely powerful. I'm looking forward to actually seeing this in action in my machine and running some benchmarks. So what I'll probably do now is uh, show you a couple of benchmarks um, that I've seen from the card. Nice little dragon design there as well, but I will remove the uh, packaging there so it works okay. But there you go, that is the MSI GTX 970 third fastest card in the world other than the 780 Ti and the um, uh, GX 980 which is his little well, little brother, his older brother or bigger brother should I say um, but as I say really looking forward to working this in my uh, machine and uh, seeing exactly how well it performs in games